Hey, what is up, guys? Um, it's Nemo. I'm basically going to show you today um, how I got my Fire Stick uh, set up and what apps and uh, and what theme or wizard or build I have on my uh, Kodi version 15.2. Uh, so let's start off first. I'm just rebooting uh, the Fire Stick uh, right now, the Fire TV Stick, more like. And as you can see, um, it's going to load my default uh, home page. Uh, it's there's quite a lot of apps and other things that I've got installed currently at the moment. So it's just the first boot, or the first time you it resets or restart, it takes a bit of time, which is fine. Um, so I'm just going to let it load, and as you can see, the first thing that Opens up is the uh, the fire start app that uh, I showed you first on my uh, on my initial video, and here it shows all the apps that I have side loaded via my computer or via my phone. Uh, so some of them are quite interesting, specifically the uh, ES File Explorer, which is really handy, and uh, just something that I've installed today which is actually pretty interesting as well uh, it's where is it again this one so it's called uh, Wi-Fi file transfer pro Basically, it allows you to. Uh, I'll show you actually now. So it it will open up uh, a file a file transfer via your Wi-Fi, uh, home broadband or uh, your uh, hotspot Wi-Fi as well. So it allows to basically have uh, an IP address on which you will be able to hook up to your phone or um, computer, Mac, Windows, whatever. And transfer files so you can download from the Fire Stick to your machine or you can upload files from your machine to the Fire Stick which is pretty good and it's also very easy to use uh, with the with the remote itself so that's pretty handy uh, so as you can see I've, I've actually quite I've got quite a lot of apps that I've downloaded uh, and siloed on the on the um, on the Fire Stick, and most of them are actually similar to what apps are available on the uh, uh, in in Kodi as well. So I'll just get started and show you the way I've got Kodi set up. So I'm just going to click on the home button to exit this, and double click the home button to start Kodi as uh, as I showed you on my first video. So as you can see, this is a uh, 15. And the amazing build that I've got installed is uh, thanks to thanks to Chris Crispy, uh, who created the the, the build. Uh, the build name that I'm using is uh, the Beast, and it's very complete. It has a lot of add-ons, a lot of customized settings that are that he uh, created and put on uh, a lot of effort onto it. Uh, so thanks to him, um, the experience with Kodi and all the add-ons is very, very, uh, very good. So you can access um, the menu here, and you can scroll down to see the the, the latest uh, movies or or series available. Uh, the sub menu is also quite interesting a lot of uh, a lot of shortcuts uh, favorites that was created uh, add-ons linking to that as well so a lot of time and effort put into that uh, so same thing with the the uh, the TV shows and the series uh, quite handy to have everything in one kind of menu and uh, so basically I will show you now um, the live TV. So the live TV that I'm using is using a customized version of the iView TV guide, uh, and 
So if I start that now, it has already been set up. It's using the metal theme. Um, it has all the uh, the EPG uh, populated. If the EPG is not populated on your machine, all you need to do is to make sure that you uh, exit the channel, the, the guide. Uh, you go to your add-ins, sorry, your video add-ons, more like. And in here, uh, select, sorry, it's not in video, it's in program, because the uh, TV guide is a program. So if we go into programs, and find the TV I view TV guide. So uh, click on the the menu button, this three line button. Make sure you go to settings, and here make sure you got the first uh, set up to UK USA channel. I will recommend you guys to change this first to zero, so it will force to download. Once it's downloaded, put it back to 24, but make make sure that you set it to uh, zero first. Um, and to fix these, uh, the setting itself, so it's pretty easy. You just have to run. Actually, I will show you now. So I'll I'll delete all the the files. This one actually will populate about seven or eight times, or sometimes even ten times. So just click on OK until they stop showing up. So it's just deleting the the files, the the guides, the XML file behind it, uh, making sure that it has a clean clean slate to start from. So I'll do what I've just told you guys before. So I'm going to force it that he resets. Uh, and re-download the guide now. So if I now click on, uh, if I start it up, as you can see, it's going to load, and download most sort of the uh, of the APG and everything else. So the the main thing to do, uh, if you don't see the APG, if you see no information or no APG information, I just can't remember exactly what you used to say. If it shows up like that, do exactly what I did. It will clear the cache, it will clear all the files, it will force to re-download the new files from the server, and it will populate uh, the EPG for you guys. Sometimes, and I'll show you as well, sometimes when you try and view a stream, it will not uh, allow you to choose an add-on to play the stream from. Uh, and the the way that I've got it to work was to basically kick off or start a few of those add-ons uh, prior to start the uh, iView guide, and that seems to have uh, fixed the uh, fixed that issue. Uh, so, and then you will be able to see the options of which add-on you would like to use for that specific stream. So it's just downloading and populating. It shouldn't be too long now. So uh, I've just changed the uh, the theme compared to what Chris had set up. It's just a personal opinion or a personal choice of mine. It nothing to do uh, against what Chris has done. And uh, so now you can see that all the streams have been populated with the EPGs. Uh, so I'll just choose um, the first one. So BBC One. If we click. As you can see, actually now, perfect. So now it doesn't give me any option to choose the stream. Oh, sorry, to choose the, the add-on to play the stream from. So what I'll do, I'll exit the TV guide. Uh, I'll go back to the video add-ons. And exactly now what I will do, I will make sure that I play, uh, that I open at least one of the video add-ons. So it seems 4OD is not working. I'll see if I can open Zeus. Right, so 
this, open project, continue, donate. Right. So I'll just now press back. And let's go back and check if we go to the live TV. Uh, if we are able to play the stream and uh, so that's the mistake I made I remember I told you guys to set the update time to um, to zero and once it's done to set it back to 24 hour uh, so I haven't done that so this is why it's bringing me back to this menu where it's trying to download and do that so I'll just let it run just uh, shouldn't be taking too long but that's a mistake and I mean you, you see exactly that's that might happen to you guys so make sure you reset it back to 24 as you can see here it's uh, it shows there's an update for the uh, IP TV stalker add-on I've disabled the update and uh, I will let you know and I will show you why I've disabled the the updates uh, it's just a version of uh, IPTV Stalker. Um, the latest version doesn't allow or doesn't work uh, correctly. It will always show um, authorization failed or something like that. And there's a specific version of IP Stalker that I'm using that uh, bypasses that issue and uh, everything is playing fine. So I will also review that and uh, show it to you guys. Uh, I mean, kudos to, to Chris uh, and the team involved behind it, uh, as well as the um, iView uh, TV guide. It's amazing. I, I like the way that uh, all the EPG channels are populated, that you can see a description of the channel, uh, of the program that ongoing. You can, set a you can put a reminder. Uh, you can choose different streams if you find maybe one HD version of a channel, and then uh, you will be able to, ch to, to change them. So now, it's been populated, so I'll try again uh, BBC News and now you can see that it gives me a bunch of options so those options are all the add-ons that I've got installed that allows me to play uh, that stream so for my purpose I will choose IPTV and IPTV Stalker is not working so I will show you how to fix that as well so if I go back and try to play, play it it's gonna show the same uh, issue so let's try now BBC 2 just to see and here uh, it's going to also give me different options I would like to choose it for IPTV so I'm going to fix IPTV first and come back here so let's go to video add-ons uh, I don't like this view I like the list view right so IPTV This is basically uh, the uh, the beast version, but I've removed all the other stuff which is not really needed. Um, add on information. So as you can see, this is the version that you should be using if you want things to work. Configuration. Blah blah blah. It should be working fine. Okay, let's try again. Watch the first time. All channels. It might be that I have to run it once to maybe kick that add on to work with uh, IPTV guide. So let's see if that works. Six British afternoon tea. Correct. So that's the way to do it if you guys are facing the same issue as I just did now. Um, you just have to make sure that the add-on has been executed at least once since the IPTV has been reset, let's say, uh, forced to re-download everything. So that's the main reason why it didn't, uh, didn't work. It didn't allow me to uh, basically stream that channel. Oh, I forgot again to reset. Just be patient. Uh, there's a, a, a tons of add-on that comes within the the beast uh, build. Uh, a lot of streams for movies, videos, live TVs, 
uh, documentaries is very 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 complete um, there is a lot of customization that you can also apply uh, I mean you can reorder the way the submenu is displayed you can rename most of the sub uh, the submenus and menus uh, you can add obviously other add-ons, remove add-ons, disable them if, if required. Uh, so you can customize it the way you want it and uh, this is the reason why I've modified mine. I did it uh, that way just because it feels better for my for my liking. And this time when this is loaded I'll make sure I'll reset it back to 24 hours. So when you set it back to 24 hours, it means that it will only download the EPG guide uh, once a day, basically. So you don't need it to download every time you start the app, which is pointless uh, and time wasting. So I'll set it back to 24 hours. Um, I don't personally like to put it to 48, just 24 hours seems to be fine, but you can try, you can test. If you find it that 24 hours seems to work better, then, uh, then that's also, also a possibility. So I'll, I'll try again to play BBC News. It still says same. Right. Uh, so let's try maybe a different channel. And I want to try with Apple TV. Right. Very interesting. So it might be that the iView guide cannot play the stream from directly from IPTV so I think the way to do it would be that if I create a shortcut uh, a favorite for that stream in uh, in IP in IPTV stalker so let's try just for the sake of trying And if we see that that's working fine, then I guess the only way to do it would be then to basically uh, do it for every single channel. So let's find BBC One, which is a, an FTA channel, a free to air channel. Right, so that's the one. I don't think there's an HD version here. I mean, this list is quite complete. I'd rather just go straight to the one I find. You click on the menu button and add to favorite. Now you can exit this and go back to the TV guide. my days yeah I know you guys gonna laugh it should have done this a long time ago time remaining it's gonna be a bit of a, of a tedious task to add or to I mean you can create all the all the channels that you want as a as a favorite like I just did then you will uh, remove the stream and insert it into the iView TV guide the other way around will be to basically have an XML file for all your favorites uh, and create that for the the entire IP TV uh, stalker stream as an HTML sorry as an XML file and import that as a new favorite uh, so you can overwrite the existing one which is in uh, in Beast or you can add it uh, behind the existing one of Beast uh, I just I would recommend to be careful with that because if you do overwrite the uh, favorites or delete the favorites of the Beast it might mess up the submenus and other links and shortcuts so um, so maybe you can have one backup of the favorite and then one uh, and one new one that you can create for the purpose of having the um, 
the favorites from IP Stoker. All right, so now I will go to the menu. I'll do remove stream, choose stream. And now I'll go to favorite, which I've just created. And hopefully, I think that might be right at the end because I've added it last, but I might be wrong. As you can see, this loads. Right, so yeah, it was uh, at the last, so I uh, previewed the stream just to check if that's working. Here. That's and it is working, so I'll stop the stream and save it. So now, if I start, wrong one, if I start now uh, BBC News, It's working. So the way then we have to do is to repeat the same uh, the same step for the remaining of the lists of movies or I mean of streams. You might not need to do it for every every channel or every stream, but uh, whatever you fancy, you can do that. So now you know how to do it from uh, from the IPTV Stalker to link it to uh, iView. TV guide. So now I exit the guide and I make sure this time that I reset the uh, schedule update to basically uh, to 24 hours and I'm not in the right section. It should be program, TV guide, menu, settings, 24. Right, and just to show you uh, that yes, when you do uh, go back to the guide, it will uh, start and not download anymore. Perfect. So now you know how to uh, remove a stream, load a stream from a favorite that you've created, uh, either from IPTV Stalker or any actually any add-on that you've got installed on your. Um, on your Kodi version. So if I go to videos, as you can see, uh, actually top videos, uh, I've added IPTV Stalker as a sub menu. So I'll, let me quickly show you how to how to do that. I've actually opened Fuba for no reason. Um, so I'll just exit that. So for Editing the existing menu uh, system here from the beast just goes, uh, you just have to go to system, appearance, skin, settings, uh, skin, main menu. And here you can change any of the writings here by just going to this, edit label, and then write whatever you want in that label. Uh, and let's say for uh, the add-ons that I just showed you guys, uh, yeah, top add-ons. You then go to the manage sub menu, and here you can see that I've got uh, the IPTV Stalker uh, added as an add-on. You can do the same for programs, for shortcuts. I mean, for favorites, sorry. Uh, yeah, shortcut as well. Uh, you just have to basically go to add. It will add it at, at, right at the bottom of the uh, submenu. You can then change the type that you would like to add to that menu, to the submenu. Uh, if you want to be videos or um, programs, uh, add-on, um, playlist, uh, source, files, you, know, you name it. Whatever is accessible within Kodi, you can, uh, you can do that. So I'll just go back and check that I don't have anything at the end, I seem to be fine. All right, so that, that's where the IPTV stalker is. Uh, and the last thing that I will show you, okay, this is what happens when you rebuild, uh, when you change anything on in the submenu or in the menu itself, it will rebuild automatically. So that's a great thing that Cody has uh, integrated. Um, and so we're back now. And uh, uh, I'll just quickly show you maybe the uh, the add-ons that I've got installed on this, and maybe the sources as well the, of the repo. Uh, so the 
the ones I would recommend to get for you guys is the 4OD, this video, uh, Israel Live, BBCI Player, uh, CC Cloud TV, Channel Peer, DAF TV, IPTV, VOB List. Uh, unfortunately, the uh, I think this one dub stop doesn't work anymore uh, because unfortunately the uh, the person who maintained it uh, had a family issue and uh, so uh, I hope everything is going well and uh, the family and everyone involved. Uh, Film on TV is definitely uh, recommended. I think it has most of the uh, FTA uh, channels. Um, Genesis, I think this is the version 5.04, which is the latest one that has been actually updated today. Uh, Gorilla Stream, IPTV Stalker, IPTV Extra, UK Extra is also very good. Uh, ITV plugging, uh, all those plugins basically, if you got them installed, they will allow you to choose the stream, and uh, some of them might work better than others, so you can choose stream and uh, so you know it should be fine for you guys as well uh, Phoenix definitely um, project free TV maybe uh, Robin Hood project yes uh, sports devil yes definitely showbox is just an app basically for movies and TV series is pretty amazing already on the Android market but also now integrated into uh, into Kodi um, what else? The Mats Nuts, that's also uh, interesting. TV Online, TV Player, UK Turk, that's also full of streams, movies, TV channels. Yeah, okay, anyway, so let me now show you quickly the, uh, the, rep the, the repos. So as you can see, it took some time to uh, go within the, uh, the the menu of the add-ons because I think it's got a, in this version or the ones I've, I've maybe added as well. I think there's more than three hundred add-ons or, or so. Uh, well, these are the repos. So there's forty two repos here. If I go, as you can see, I have disabled the update for uh, IPTV Stalker just because if it does update, it's not gonna work anymore. Right, so install from stream. Um, so this is um, Dexter TV, this is the, the repo. Fuba is also automatically installed. Uh, Fusion, uh, that's the repo for that. JSON, uh, this is uh, Metal Kettle, that's also very useful. I think this, Maki one uh, is old, already installed via the beast. Sports Devil repos. Uh, this is Super Repo. X Infinity and Zeus. That's it, guys. Um, I think that's pretty much covered the whole uh, system. I obviously cannot uh, show you anything more than the uh, free to air channels, but uh, you get the gist on how to stream, how to access the streams, how to modify the streams if one is not working to replace it with another one which is working. And I've just showed you as well how to get uh, IPTV Stalker to work on the TV guide, which is a, a very amazing. Uh, piece of uh, app that was uh, that was created and maintained by the guys uh, so so kudos for the IPTV team uh, sorry the uh, IP no iView TV guide team as well as Chris and everyone involved within the, com the, the Cody community thanks a lot for watching I hope this was useful please let me know if you have any questions I'll be more than happy to uh, to help you guys answer the questions in the comment section below the video. And if you feel that uh, I've missed something, if you find some other ways to get things working that might be better for 
to share it with the with the community and, and the wide audience please let us know as well and comment in the video uh, I hope you like it and uh, thumbs up subscribe uh, and all the usual uh, good things peace